how to develop a backrest population in maize. Maize is an important food crop since ancient times. Although most grasses have bisexual florets, the mature florets of Zia maize are functionally unisexual on the sample plant, a condition referred to as monisi. The functionally male florets are born on the tassel, whereas the functionally female florets are born on the ear. Backcrossing involves making an initial cross between the donor and recurrent parents. The resultant F1 progeny have 50% of their genetic material from each parent. F1 individuals are crossed to the recurrent parent to develop a backcross 1 population. Individuals from the BC1 population are once again crossed to the recurrent parent. Each generation of backcrossing reduces the proportion of the donor parent present in the population by half. This cycle of crossing backcross progeny to the recurrent parent continues until a new line that is identical to the recurrent parent but with the desired gene or trait from the donor parent is created. By the BC4 generation, the lines are greater than 96% identical to the recurrent parent. The backcrossing process can often be accelerated using marker-assisted backcrossing, also known as background selection. Requirements of a backcross program A suitable recurrent parent must be available which lacks in one or two characteristics. A suitable donor parent must be available. The donor parent should have the character or the characters to be transferred in an intense form. The character to be transferred must have high heritability and preferably it should be determined by one of few genes. A sufficient number of backcrosses should be made so that the genotype of the recurrent parent is recovered in full. The male inflorescence is called tassel. The female inflorescence is called the silk. Phytic acid known as inositol hexahisphosphate is the principal storage form of phosphorus in many plant tissues, especially bran and seeds. Phytate is not digestible to humans or non-ruminant animals, so it is not a source of either inositol or phosphate if eaten directly. Phosphorus and inositol in phytate form are not in general bioavailable to non-ruminant animals because these animals lack the digestive enzyme phytase required to remove phosphate from the inositol in the phytate molecule. On the other hand, ruminants readily digest phytate because of the phytase produced by rumen microorganisms. In most commercial agriculture, non-ruminant livestock such as swine, fowl and fish are fed mainly grains such as maize and legumes such as soybeans because phytate from these grains and beans is unavailable for absorption. The unabsorbed phytate passes through the gastrointestinal tract elevating the amount of phosphorus in the manure. The bioavailability of phytate phosphorus can be increased by supplementation of the diet with the enzyme phytase also, viable low phytic acid mutant lines have been developed in several crop species in which the seeds have drastically reduced levels of phytic acid and concomitant increases in inorganic phosphorus. UMI-395 is used as the female parent. LPA is the male parent. The tassel of the female parent is removed to prevent self-pollination. Cover the tassel of the male parent and tap gently to collect the pollen.
does the pollen over the silk of the female parent In marker resistant selection among the backgrounds on plants the ones with appreciable phytate content is selected using a foreground marker Phenotypic selection is carried out by two methods one is phytase assay by Davis method and the other one is high inorganic phosphorus assay In case of UMI 395 and LPA an ssr marker umc 2230 is used plants which has higher amount of phosphorus will have lower amount of phytate and vice versa and coming to the result of the hip assay phosphorus is indicated by blue color here in this picture the samples that are blue in color shows higher phosphorus content that is low phytate content and this is the result of the phytase assay on the whole the result of the phenotypic selection is that there was a considerable variation in the level of phytic acid and inorganic phosphorus content among the four f1s evaluated among the four different crosses the cross between umi 395 and lpa was found to have low level of phytic acid Genotyping of the F1s was attempted for the identification of the true hybrid. 30 SSR markers of the LPA2 region were obtained from the Maize GDB database. Those markers are distributed in the 1.05 bin location in the short arm of the maize chromosome. This is the result of the marker assisted selection. Out of 30 SSR markers screened in the LPA2 region, four markers was found to be polymorphic for UMI 395 and LPA. Hence the marker UMC 2230 which closely linked to the LPA locus was used as a foreground marker for screening in the F1s and backcross progenies. The plants with low phytate content are selected in successive generations. Applications of backcross methods involves intervarietal transfer of simply inherited characters, intervarietal transfer of quantitative characters, interspecific transfer of simply inherited characters, transfer of cytoplasm, transgressive segregation, production of near isogenic lines.